This just into the newsroom. We are just getting word that the woman inside the car involved in that horrific crash in Fremont yesterday has died. That same crash killed her three year old son on impact. You can see the pictures from our helicopter partnership with ABC 7 News. They show the car that was split in half when it slammed into a tree on Paseo Padre Parkway. Fremont police say charges are now pending against the woman's husband who was behind the wheel. Witnesses say the car had been speeding. The driver was also hospitalized. He is in good condition. Crown Force Maureen Kelly uncovered new information about the people involved. At the scene of the deadly crash, a stranger stops to light a candle at the growing memorial to the little boy killed. Just trying to pay my respects to a, a life that shouldn't have been lost. The tree that was slammed into by the car has lost most of its bark in the crash. In its place are signs and flowers. Here's one note that reads, rest in paradise, baby Angelo. A friend of the family who didn't want to go on camera confirms that this Facebook photo is that of the victim, three-year-old Angelo Gill. He's described as a funny and energetic little boy. In addition to his parents, Angelo also leaves behind two stepbrothers and a stepsister, all teenagers who are said to be taking his loss very hard. Here's a picture of his parents. Joey, who you see on the left, is described as a caring and loving mother. Gilbert is described as a good person and a loving father who puts his family first. The family lives here at this Milpitas home. A neighbor says the Gills are a lovely couple who are often seen playing outside with their little boy. And that news of his death has been very hard to hear. When I heard about the little guy, it, it just <sighs> dropped my heart and everything like that because it's just something that no mother or parent want to see happen. She says on the day of the crash, the family had been driving to a Fremont water park to celebrate Angelo's birthday. This Chevy Suburban parked outside is the car the father normally drives. She says in the several years he's lived on her street, she's never seen him driving recklessly. Maureen